Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday on the 23rd of May, Microsoft held their annual Developer Build Conference. And um, what I thought we could do over the next couple of days, um, if you are interested, is just go through a couple of the key highlights that Microsoft did announce uh, from that conference yesterday at their um, Developer Build, because there are some important um, changes that will be rolling out to Windows and components and apps um, regarding the Windows operating system. Uh, in the future, mainly um, regarding AI, AI, artificial intelligence being added to Windows and um, apps and so on regarding Windows. So what I thought we could do today in this first video is just really focus on maybe two of the main key highlights. The first and I think the, the most important announcement was this Windows Copilot feature um, that Microsoft announced yesterday, which will bring centralized AI to Windows 11 using Windows Copilot. So basically, in a nutshell, this will be a very souped-up version of um, uh, Microsoft's Cortana. And uh, um, if we just zoom in here, if you see, look on the taskbar in this screenshot provided from that conference and from the announcement, here we can actually see the Copilot icon um, in the taskbar. So very similar to um, what Cortana used to look like back in the day. And over and above the Copilot, um, they are also introducing new AI features and experiences to the Microsoft Store. Now, first of all, just to focus on the Copilot, and then we'll have a look at the AI experiences which will be coming to the Microsoft Store in the second half of this video. Now, Microsoft um, has announced um, the reason behind them bringing the Copilot to Windows. And um, I'm quoting this from that announcement. They say, they are thrilled to introduce Windows Copilot. Windows is the first... PC platform to provide centralized AI assistance for customers. Uh, together with Bing Chat and first and third party plugins, you can now focus on bringing your ideas to life, completing complex projects and collaborating instead of spending energy finding, launching and working across multiple applications. So that's Microsoft's take and a quick summary of the main reason why they are rolling out Windows Copilot in the future to the Windows operating system. Now, just to dive a little bit deeper, um, as mentioned, this is going to be a replacement um, to uh, Microsoft's Cortana and will be a souped up personal assistant, so to speak. And what it'll do is it'll help you to basically um, adjust settings in Windows. You'll be able to ask the Copilot to adjust certain settings. You'll be able to open up apps. Um, You'll be able to look at text and images. Um, you'll be able to, as an example, you'll be able to ask the Copilot to um, enable Snap Assist um, without actually having to go into these settings. It'll be able to check for updates and a whole lot more. So really, it's going to become a centralized AI aspect of the Windows operating system, which, by the way, as I have mentioned, uh, Windows 12 is going to be very focused on AI. So maybe this is already Microsoft gearing up for a possible Windows 12. Now, um, the, according to Microsoft, the Copilot uh, is based on more or less the same artificial intelligence technology that they have been using um, as part of uh, Bing Chat, which also means um, you'll also be able to search the web over and above asking it to help you with tasks within Windows itself. And it's also going to be supporting Chat GPT plugins and Bing Chat. So that's going to be an interesting one to watch in the future. And Windows Copilot will um, become available um, next month in June, actually, as part of the Windows 11 Insider program. So it'll start rolling out in preview first. So uh, we're not going to see this in the stable channel or the stable version of Windows 11 uh, just yet. And obviously, as that gets tested, I will keep you updated and post accordingly as to um, up and coming updates regarding Windows Copilot starting to become available in preview for Windows 11 next month in June. So that's the Windows Copilot out of the way. And then moving on now to the Microsoft Store, because Microsoft has also announced um, some new features and enhancements that they will be rolling out to the Microsoft Store app um, on Windows 11 later this year. Now, um, most of these are focused on AR, as mentioned at the start of this video. And uh, um, the first is um, just starting that the AI Hub um, will be added to the Microsoft Store. So yeah, we can see if we zoom in, here's the AI Hub, this little button or um, hub on um, in the actual um, left-hand menu. And uh, um, this AI Hub will give you a way um, to easily discover, according to Microsoft, learn and experience the various facets of AI in apps or documents. So that's according to Microsoft. 
and their main reason behind, in, behind adding an AR hub to the Microsoft Store. Now, over and above that, um, this new AR hub um, will be expanding the Microsoft Store ads experience to support um, 150 regions and will be available as part of the Bing search results as well. Another um, expansion, so to speak, of the Store ads experience includes a new spotlight section that will also be rolling out to the store that will have a new location for developers to promote their content with, with um, video focus um, more in mind when it comes to that. And uh, um, over and above that, um, Microsoft also say that they are planning to roll out AR generated review summaries. So this is taking uh, summaries to a whole new level uh, in the Microsoft store and reviews. Um, so as many of you know, if you see, get an app, you can review that and so on. So this is where that's going to all come into play. Now, just to go through um, this quickly, um, these AR generated review summaries, according to Microsoft, will make it faster and easier for you to scan app reviews. And uh, um, over and above that, and this next one actually is something I'm quite excited about um, because it's going to be a restore apps um, a feature, which will be very similar uh, to your cell phone because as many of you know most cell phones these days the app settings and the phone settings are backed up into the cloud automatically and uh, it's going to be very similar to that so um, it's going to as an example if you set up a new device um, the store will automatically synchronize your apps from your previous device so if you had apps pinned um, in your start menu or, or on your taskbar or um, on the settings page and um, it will basically put those apps back and reinstall those apps and place them in the same locations that they were previously, which I actually think is a nice move in the right direction. So um, this uh, Restore Apps feature will basically cut out the lengthy process of re-downloading all your apps and then having to set up your apps and basically a whole lot of apps on your device. And as mentioned, I think that will be a great move. So um, that's the first of a couple of videos we'll be looking at over the next couple of days. And as mentioned, that's introducing new AR features and experiences to the Microsoft Store. And then I think the big one here is Microsoft has announced plans for the Windows Copilot, um, which is bringing centralized AR assistance to Windows 11. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.